Well, every once in a while I'll get this stuff out. I don't have the firearms anymore, but I still have the stuff. And I get it out to, I guess, I get it out to feel manly. I have to put it bluntly. Uh, this is a lube resizer from Lyman. Here's Lyman, and it's got a uh, 452 diameter sizing die in there, and probably the semi-wide cutter um, uh, top punch. But some of the things that I had for reloading were this. Now this is uh, a 220, 225 diameter. That's for your 22 cast bullets. Your 244, that's for your 243. Uh, this this one here is a, a 258 sizing die. It's a Lyman. It's in a little thing yet. This one here is a 278 diameter for your 270 dies. This is a 308 diameter sizing die. Next to that is a Lyman 311, I think. Yeah, 311. Next to that is a, a 314 sizing die, a 321 for your 32 special and your 8mm. Uh, this is a 357 uh, uh, sizing die and top punch. Next to it is a, a 410 diameter. It's 410. This here is a 429 sizing die in top punch. This is a 458 for your for for your 4570s and stuff like that. This is the the 452 diameter for the that's in the the diamond press or the sizing press right now. Uh, let's see, that's some Hordendy, uh case size uh, sizing lubricant. That's some RCBS. There's some ALOX uh, lube for the uh, press. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go here. There's some Lyman uh, gas checks for the 22s. Uh, some for the, the 243. 270 gas checks. Um, 30, 32 caliber gas checks for your 32 specials and your 8 millimeter. There's 30 caliber gas checks, a thousand pieces. That's an old box of ordinary uh, gas checks for 30 caliber. Then, back then they were only, I think it was nine dollars for a box of, of a thousand. This is the 25 caliber gas checks. So I got gas checks for all the, the rifles. No, none for pistols because I don't believe in putting gas checks on, on pistol bullets. It don't make sense. There's some, uh, some top punches there. I get out of the light. Duh. There's more top punches in there. There's probably well, six more at least in those. Plus there's top punches in each one of the molds so that I didn't lose them. I had so much... Uh, stuff and I didn't want to lose anything so I just stuck everything with the bullet mold itself. That way nothing gets lost. There's some uh, uh, oh, primer you see here are for cleaning out your primers. That's for chamfering, that's for chamfering. That's also for chamfering. What's that say? Let's see that bass a little bit. Okay. But there's a, you know, that's Kind of the junk that you gather, well it's not junk, it's stuff that you pick up uh, in your travels for whatever you're doing, your hobbies. You know, like I said, you always keep this stuff on hand because you never know. And like I said, every once in a while I'll get the stuff out just to feel manly again. Imagine that. But I just thought I'd put out some kind of a video for Willie, and I figured this would be an easy way to do it, and the stuff's uh, pretty easy at hand, and uh, that's about it. 
like I said, that's for the 22, 243, that's for the uh, 25 caliber, the 270, the 308, 311, 314, 321, uh, 357, uh, 410 for your 41 mag, 429 for your uh, your 44 mag, 458 for the uh, 4570. Okay, just thought I'd give you a quick heads up and uh, that's what Fuzzy's doing. Okay, I feel mainly now and I can feel mainly and put it all away. Thanks for watching.